Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2, the cross-continental America series. Today we're back in, uh, well we're in sort of, where would you say, southeast America, we're down near Miami here. Uh, and our Joe Ahead group slash Amtrak little shuttle train is working an absolute treat. It's flying up and down, it's turning a small profit, which is half decent of course and uh, it's got two locos on because we want it to be fairly nippy now uh, oh there's another one there look 164 out of 220 on board look at that uh, yeah really really nice little trains I like them it's caused absolute uproar because the year is uh, 1951 and I'm using Amtrak coaches of course Amtrak wasn't about until much later but do you know what it works with the unit uh, the unit the loco even uh, so they are here to stay. I apologise uh, to anyone unreservedly if you uh, if you can't cope with that. But that is that is how it is. Uh, they are here to stay. 21 million in the bank, and that number is climbing. So what we're going to be doing today is working on a brand new main line. Ooh, don't know why it was spooky. It should just be ooh. That's no better but yes uh, we've got I pointed out in the last episode we have that sort of express service that doesn't really make us a lot of money that shuttles up and down between Atlanta and uh, Houston it sort of comes full speed down to uh, down to somewhere down to Montgomery probably uh, can you find out what stops there just the RE2 yes yeah, so it comes full speed down to Montgomery uh, and then trundles round to Atlanta. So I want to be able to do something a little bit better with that. We've got the uh, we've got this here where it, it just finishes, and uh, I think we can fly up here uh, round towards Raleigh, Charlotte, Norfolk, Richmond, etc. I want an express service running up the east coast, much like where the Acela runs between Washington and uh, and Boston. That is what we're wanting. It'll have to stop a lot, obviously, round here because. You know, New York, Long Island, those are all big places, aren't they? So uh, we're going to want it to stop at all of those. Maybe it'll be a stopping service round here, but then sort of express down through these places I've never heard of. And uh, it'll go all the way up to Halifax. So yeah, that's going to be the focus on today's episode. Are we going to get trains running? I don't know. Are we going to be able to afford it? Who knows? But uh, yeah, we'll give it our best shot. So we're going to be running with standard tracks for now because I don't think we've got anything... Uh, vaguely high speed. We'll run that round to 75. Keep it flat as much as we can because we're going to pop out about here. Oh, I'm accidentally putting catenary on. We don't want catenary just yet. Maybe we'll come back and, uh, and wire it later on. But uh, yeah, at this moment in time we don't want catenary. You can just come down like that. That'll do. There we go. Stick you out there. You're going to... Uh, you're happy with that. That's good. Sort of a bit of a, a big turn and then yeah right off we go so Charlotte because uh, we're going to have some sort of stopping line of course it comes up through Jackson, Savannah, Columbia, Charlotte, Rayleigh so that could actually just go to Washington couldn't it all these stops it could do right okay so Charlotte uh, what sort of terrain are we looking at here the terrain's fairly flat to be honest with you so uh, that's not going to be an issue uh, right okay so, buildings, let's have... Uh, we'll go for the 160 metres. No catenary. Yep, that'll do. We'll uh, we'll slap you sort of... Uh, should we get rid of that so we can see what we're doing? We'll slap you about there. And what we'll do is we'll put some bus stations in, first of all. Go, stick you there. Rayleigh again. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll stick you there. Lovely. And obviously Norfolk and Richmond, I think we will branch off and then Washington we want something uh, hmm, how are we going to do this with Washington I don't know we'll put a big station back here that'll do train 13 the condition is very bad well we don't have enough money to change it because we're too busy splashing our cash doing other things so we'll, uh, we'll there we go can we, can we squeeze you in there yes we can right okie dokie so, we've got the line. In terms of Richmond, I think we're going to go off to the right here and sort of avoid Rayleigh altogether. Uh, or maybe we'll come down here through Rayleigh and then back up. I don't know how fast this is going to be, but it's certainly going to be high capacity intercity travel, isn't it? Uh, as for the line, the stopping train, it's going to have to come round here 
down through Norfolk. That's not what we're building today, though. We are building the intercity, uh, so we shall build the intercity. Right, okay, there we go. Bring you to about there. 60 is fine, I think. Because what we want to do is we want to be able to, uh, to sort of have the line like that. There we go. So everything's going to be stopping at Washington anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then this is going to branch off and head down there. Like that. Mmm. Like that. There we go. Bring you round there. And then this is going to go uh, go sort of off here like that. Can we go for 70? Or even 75? That'd be good. That would be good. Right, we'll, uh, we'll whiz off there. Does look a bit weird, doesn't it? They come right together to then go apart again. But uh, hey ho, that's what we're going with. We'll delete both of you, and we'll delete you as well. Because this is... This is sort of going where we want it to go. There we go. We'll bring that down there. 75. This road's going to have to go because it's getting in our way. Right, okay. Yep, sorry guys. Don't worry, I'll put your road back in. Just just breathe. Breathe, please. There we go. Right. Just, we'll put a bridge in. Stick a bridge in. Looks lovely. Looks brilliant, doesn't it? Right, we're going to go around there. Again, can we keep 75? Yep, yeah, we can just about keep 75. That'll do. Right down here. Now, the station is going to have to go here, isn't it? Next to our bus terminus. We'll just delete all of you. Don't worry, the station will uh, we'll, we'll put the road back, everybody. Panic not. We'll stick you there. So, we're not going to be stopping at Rayleigh. Uh, Rally. I'm, I'm saying Rayleigh because of Rayleigh in Essex. Uh, and down that way, but it's probably Rally, Rayleigh. Oh, we're, we're going with Rayleigh. Now, how fast can we get you round there? We can get you at 70. Seventy is probably fine. Probably fine. Yep, there we go. And of course, this gives us a brilliant excuse to upgrade that train that I said I wasn't going to upgrade. It's a steam train currently, isn't it? Uh, right, Charlotte. Again, we'll stick a uh, stick a, a station on there. Delete you and you. Just be careful when uh, when deleting towns uh, or bits of towns, because obviously we don't want to delete all the uh, all the exciting bits, all the bits that are going to make us some money. There we go. Now what we'll do is we'll just have you down there like that. Yep. Bring it back again there, and then we'll do like we did on the other four track main line. We'll. Uh, We'll keep it apart like that. So it, it just kind of makes it look a little bit different, doesn't it? You know, not everything's running together. It just stays apart down the main line. It just looks a little bit more quirky. Right, so then you're going to have to somehow come round here. That's not going to work, is it? Not for the speed that I'm wanting. Right, okay. We'll, we'll just take that back a bit. Right. Oop, where are we? Round like that. A uh, bit of a bridge. We can keep it at 75. That's good news. Right, you're going to fly off that way. Now, you could ask Joe, this is really quite, uh, you know, if you actually look at the line, why didn't you just build it along the side there and completely bypass the towns? But I think it's safe to say we all want to be able to sit here with lots of trains flying up and down, don't we? That's, that's the goal here. So, you know, we don't want to have lots of separate lines with trains running on. Uh, I mean, that top line is going to be express only. The, uh, the stopping services are going to be on these, probably freight on those as well, if we get freight running there. Um, but yeah, the, the top line is just going to be express, so it shouldn't actually slow it down that much other than the corner it has to do 70 round. But if that becomes too much of a problem, then uh, obviously we will upgrade it 
to uh, to some faster running speeds. Now, through this central section, through Baltimore and all that jazz, it is going to be much slower. Now, this is the Northeast Corridor, uh, which is, of course, quite a fast line. I say quite a fast line. It's, it's very fast by American standards. They don't really do high speed, do they? I, I think, what does the Acela do about? Is it 125 mile an hour? I don't think it goes a lot faster. I could be wrong though. I have very, very little knowledge of this. There'll be people in America watching this right now absolutely outraged that I've dared to suggest uh, that they don't have high speed trains. But you know, it's, yeah, they're, they're, they're high speed for America anyway. Because like I say, train travel's not really a massive thing like it is in Europe. Well, uh, I mean, it's quicker because of the vast distances. It's just quicker to fly, isn't it? Uh, right, we'll get you in there. Yep, lovely. And we've got Baltimore as well. Oh, that was Philadelphia. Lovely. Right, we'll, uh, we'll stick you in there. A lot of big stations. New York City. Crikey, where are we going to put a, uh, a station here? I mean, that would look brilliant if we could get it in there, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that look brilliant? I think it would, but there is a bit of a problem. Uh, right, let's have a look. Can we can we stick it in there? Go on, let me do that. They put that robe back in for crying out loud. Let me let me stick the station there. How are you looking? Uh, right, ooh, New York City. We could cut, sort of come out that way, and that would look really really good, wouldn't it? Sort of snaking through between New York and Long Island. Mmm, I like that. Right, Boston, again, we're going to need uh, some sort of bus station in Boston. We'll probably also have bus services running between Boston and uh, Washington all the way through, like a high density. Right, and then we get up to Portland, Fredericton and Halifax. I think we'll go back to two track there because this is where uh, we're sort of... I'm not going to say that this is like, it's sort of the tail end of the main line at this point, isn't it? There's not a lot of towns up here other than Quebec City, but I think that's going to be another train that's going to run from Halifax down uh, towards Toronto, because of course we've already got the bits of tracking for that, so that's exciting in itself. Right, okay, Boston, where are we? Portland, yeah. We squeeze you in there? No, it doesn't appear so. Not with that road, so we'll just delete the road. Because, you know, we've got that much money now, we can just delete things as and when. Oh, I did not realise you could do that. Hold shift and move your mouse left and right. You don't have to move it in increments. Look at that, that's so cool. When did that become a feature? Please don't tell me that's been a feature all along. I've only just learnt of this now. That is magical. Right, let's, uh, let's, why can't I do it now? Oh, because you hold shift and, and, ooh, that is saucy. Right, we're going to, uh, we're going to put the other station here, but I'm going to go back to four platforms. And that shall tell you for why, because obviously that main line is coming from Quebec. That's going to join in and run round to Halifax this way, uh, not quite know which way we're going to do this because obviously we want a terminus, but that's not going to give us a lot of manoeuvring space. I think we're just going to slap it on the end here. Like that. And then we'll have a uh, sort of big turnaround here. Like that. Okay, that's not ideal, is it? But I'm sure you'll agree. It's, uh, there's going to be a lot of flange. It's going to sound brilliant, the trains running around here. How have we used half the video time and we've not really built that much track? This is going to take a while, isn't it? Right, there we go. We'll build you out there. 30, yep. Yeah. Build you out to 30 as well. In fact, you can have a cross there. Yep, yeah, lovely. You can cross over as well. Can we get a cross in there? Yeah, lovely. Again, 30 mile an hour. I don't think we'll get a cross here. We will. Right, okay. 30 and 
30 just so that everything can use the platform everywhere we'll get some signals in i think just the one the one way signal there is uh, sort of what we're wanting isn't it i mean that ideally it's not brilliant is it but again halifax uh, i don't know how it's going to work at halifax i don't know if we'll fit some freight in maybe i don't know I don't know. Of course, what we've got to remember is this is not going to be a high-speed section of track. So we can... Uh, I'm going to try and keep it flat, though. There we go. Going for a bit of 70. We're going to delete the road. Because this road is going to have to fit in with the track, isn't it? And at this moment in time, it's getting in the way of the track. And that's not what we're wanting. So, uh, we're going to run down here. If we can keep it at 75, that's what we want. Run it straight down, and then we'll run you to there. There's a bit of road in the way. Terrible. So we're going to uh, we're going to run that down as well. How far can we get it? We can get it all the way. That's good. And because we've got so much money now, I'm just going to build all four tracks. Um, a period in time. A period in history, I probably wouldn't have done that, would I? Because we'd have been saving money, but it really doesn't matter now. We'll uh, we'll slap all four tracks in just so that it looks awesome. Back up again, yep. Sort of zigzagging up and down. Lovely, lovely stuff. Awesome. Right, so Fredericton, we're turning left to Portland, and of course Quebec City is down there. So what we're going to do, I think. A nice bridge. That's going to look awesome going over there. How's that? That is ridiculous. Okay, so we're not using that one. That's been decided. See if we could sort of get a bit of that without the... You see, that looks good. That does look good. We'll keep that. There we go. We'll have a bit of the green bridge. Yep, bring you across there. Same again with you. That is a really good looking bridge. It just doesn't look right in this instance with the big uh, suspension aspect. Now, we need to branch off to the left. We need to do that sooner rather than later. 50 mile an hour. It doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, in fact, yes, it does matter because I reckon we could probably go faster. Can we as well? If we don't stick to the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. If we don't stick to the, the altitude constraints, altitude constraints, you're not flying a plane, Joe. But you know what I mean, if we're not sticking to, can we, can we get over there? I think we can. Look at that. Nice bridge. Ooh, saucy. And we don't have to delete the road. We do have to delete the road. There's a flipping bridge pillar collision. What a disaster. Right, we'll try again from that angle. Like that, and then we'll build it going that way. That's going to work better. Lovely. So long as we don't have to upgrade that road, because that will result in disaster. Now, if I just build you to there, how are you going to look? Well, I've built you to the wrong flipping thing anyway, haven't I? So, what we'll do is we'll build out of there. Yeah, lovely. Keep that. Yep. Yeah. It's not the best looking bridge. If anything, for me, it's a little bit close to the water. But it will do. And then we'll build you all the way to there. That is a massive viaduct. Okay, that's not happening. That's ridiculous. Right, we'll get rid of you. How's that looking? Any better? Much better. Right, okay. We'll whiz down to there. Yeah, lovely. Big bridge. Again, what about a... Uh, see, I think that's looking better. You can't deny an embankment does look really good off trends, particularly when you're above the tree line like this. Although what I am going to do is change that because I forgot about that bit going to change that into a slightly faster bridge. Do I think that anything that we have will be doing 56 over there? No, I don't, because everything is slow, so chronically slow that I don't think it will be. I think we'll be we'll be plodding. Uh, I know that there's people that will be going mental about the fact that, uh, yeah, 
Uh, <laughs> I've completely upset a lot of towns there. We're going to have to put that back in later. Uh, right, so Boston. What are we doing about Boston then? Um, yeah, I think we're going to come into this platform at Boston because we've got trains that could go over to Burlington and Montreal that could terminate in Boston. I think. I have no idea what I'm doing with this now. Right, we'll delete you. And then you can come out there. Yeah, lovely. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You're going to come out as a four track. Because then you're going to go over to Burlington. Yeah, you can go that way. And you can sort of follow a little bit, just a tiny bit, and then branch off to Portland there. Lovely. How's that going to look? Okay, you're going to edit the road to accommodate us. So, yeah, that will do. Nice bridge as well. Get it built. I like how, because we're not building on fast forward mode, we are actually accruing money. Even though we're building all this stuff, we are accruing money faster than we're spending it. That's what you want. Right, so, New York. Again, we're going to stick down this side, and I know that this is sort of the stopping side of things, isn't it? But at this particular point in the line, let's have a look, make sure that's, that road is hideously ugly, but never mind. At this particular point in the line, you've got a lot of things like here we could have a branch right round off up to Albany and, uh, and Syracuse and Buffalo. So you've got another line there that come out of New York. This can go round. Burlington, there's a lot of lines that can branch off, and uh, for that we need to keep the express line, sort of, uh, or the northeast corridor line on this side. And then when we get to Philadelphia, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Dover's probably going to go without a rail service. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, that that is a shame. Of course, we've got the option to move over on there to sort of Harrisburg, Pittsburgh. Doesn't Pittsburgh already have a train? No, I'm thinking of Cincinnati. Uh, yeah. Right. How are we getting over there, then? It's not going to be good. It's not going to be flattering, either. Sorry, uh, New York. Right. Build you out there. Are we keeping it on a bridge? Or are we sort of going for the... Going for that. I mean, that... I think the bridge looks better. Oh, I like that bridge. What's that? 68 miles an hour. That is a bridge worthy of keeping. The thing is, like, the bridge looks brilliant, but what happens when you make a junction on a bridge? Because it can look horrendous. You see, like that, it just... This doesn't work for me, because you've got the, the thing from there and the thing from there. It just, look at that, it's hideous. So we'd have to, yeah, right, okay. I like the bridge. But coming out of the station, we'll keep it. There we go. Keep, keep that. Yep. Lovely. Bring that out like that, because it's a slow line. And then we'll go for the bridge. Yep. Oop, no, not quite. Look at that. And that, with all four, is going to look brilliant. I'm just going to go snaking across the top there. And that's got big sort of gaps for proper sized roads in. Bend it round like that. We are unlocking a lot of trains every year now. As you can see, the top menu is always telling us what we've unlocked. Come on. It's quite pernickety building this. Quite finicky. There we go. Look at that. That looks awesome. It's floating. Hmm. Not a lover of the fact it's floating, I'm not going to lie. Why is it floating? <sighs> But that bridge looks so good. We can't leave it floating, can we? We 
could leave it floating. No, we can't leave it floating. No, I mean, even even I cannot leave that floating. That's not acceptable. That is such a shame because that bridge is stunning. And it really suits the, uh, the environment that it's in, but never mind. Right, back to bridges. It's going to be the terrible stock bridge. Which is distinctly UK-like, but, you know, I thought... In this instance, we should... You see, that just is floating as well. Why are all the bridges floating all of a sudden? This is not correct. That's not floating anymore, is it? Yeah. Run you round there. Yeah. All the way round. And all the way round. See, that does sort of work. I mean, the, the road all of a sudden is colliding. Probably because uh, it's... Yeah, it's too too high up but that that works it looks terrible in comparison it looks too british it looks too european i don't like it i want the other bridge get rid of all this road don't panic everybody because this is all road that will go back in later uh, i think we'll use a, a cutting as well Rather than uh, rather than a tunnel, just because we want to be able to see our trains, don't we? And as well, it gives us a perfect excuse to put a bridge over the top with the road. Bring that round there. Should we tunnel there? No, because it's going to put the the tunnel mouth onto the uh, onto the other track, and that's not okay. All right, bring you round. All right, that. Again, this little bit of the main line is not going to be the fastest, but, you know. We don't build intercity trains to have them quick, do we? We build intercity trains to be slow and clunky and miserable. Right, what if we we do the same thing where we keep the lines apart? How's that going to look? That's going to look awesome. Could maybe do with a bit of terrain smoothing in between so that we don't have that massive sort of crevasse. Or we could just leave it. Mm, well, there's always that option. How's this going to work? If I just slap you in there with no tunnel, it's looking good. And again, bring you around there. And what about this? Is that going to look awful? No, it's going to keep it apart like that. And that is good. Right, there we go. I think that is more or less the whole main line built. You can now get by train... From Houston all the way up the coast to uh, to Halifax there. That is awesome. Right, we're going to go with a bit of signalling. Three head. Three head, that'll do. Uh, we'll go with the auto sig. Yep. And we'll space it 500 metres apart from each other. Now, I did that last time. And the auto save has said no. I did change it last time because we, we worked out that you, your autosave fires signals in the direction that you are uh, that you are facing the signal. So obviously there you go, you've, you've fired them up there and you've fired them up there. But then, to come the other way, you have to come this way and pop a signal there and there. There you go, that's your signals fired down there. Same again, we are going to ask that bear why he's on the track. We'll delete that. That's not meant to be there. There we go. Look at that. The autosig is just so magical. I mean, we sort of don't really need it, do we? Because, you know, <laughs> it's there's such a, you know, there's not really a long period of time between tracks. But, I mean, it's useful to have, isn't it? Do you know what? We're, we're not going to keep the signals all together there. We're going to space them apart. Although that bit doesn't space apart. That works quite nicely, though. Let's face it. Right, you're, uh, you've got all your signals in there. You're not having it. So we'll slim, uh, sling, slam, slam you in there. Pop you down there. Yeah, that is beautiful. Again, slap that there. So there's there's not signals next to each other. That's oof, it's a little bit risque for us, isn't it? Usually I like everything to be neat next to each other, but uh, yeah, 
obviously that's not how it is in real life, is it? You know, sometimes signals are not near each other. So there we go, we've got all the way down. And in the next episode, we are going to slam some trains on there. We might need to upgrade some of these uh, old out-of-date semaphore signals as well. What is it that we're currently using on this line? It is the uh, via Montgomery. That is what we're currently using. Tired, out-of-date. Do you remember when that was brand new? I most certainly remember when that was brand new. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I really do hope you've enjoyed that. We've finally got a main line in, and the next couple of episodes are going to be dedicated to uh, getting some sort of new uh, trains running up there. Passenger, freight, we want to see lots of things down that main line. Yeah, so make sure, if you haven't already, you do subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Please do sling a like at the video. It helps the video do a little bit better, and uh, it's a good way of you saying thank you for this world-beating content. And other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.